elephant foot, elephant food, portalacaria afra, whatever you want to call it. You could look at it, but probably don't eat it because this plant is really more for looking at and only elephants eat this plant. So I would just pop it in a window seal and let it do its thing. But before I get into all of that, definitely hit this subscribe button, the like button, and uh, drop a comment. Let me know what's up with your elephant food plant. And uh, also before I keep going on, check out the new digs. Just got the Plant Marks the Pot logoed polo popping off, looking nice and sharp for you on this channel. That way I could make it official. A lot of exciting things going on. And uh, for all that of you who are constantly tuned in, sorry about the late posting last week. Definitely had a hectic one, but dropping in right on time this week with that plant video. And once again, we're keeping it simple, keeping it cool and low maintenance with the Portolacaria afra, otherwise known as elephant food plant, which is as staple in the mainstay of succulents. You know, I mostly focus on tropicals here, but every once in a while I'll throw you a curveball and pop a succulent in there just because, you know, I in, in my philosophy is if it looks cool, I'm definitely gonna I'm going to try it out and cool looking indeed. This plant I've had for probably two years, I want to say. It's not the fastest growing and it looked nothing like this when I came across it. I think there is like, you know what? I think I'm going to dig up in my archive. I think I have an original plant picture of it when it was just a little teeny tiny baby and it, uh, my has it grown really it was just i started with a couple twigs i think i popped in two or three here and there wasn't doing so hot had to kind of dial in the light aperture maybe lost a twig or two added some more bada bing bada boom popped it right in a bright sunny window and ta-da now here you have it it is got it going on it's definitely doing its thing in a major way and that's largely in part due to i just gave it that sunny window that's been begging for for the last two years you know the first year i think i just had it in a medium light it's uh-uh uh -uh, it's not gonna like that you definitely have to give this all the light that you can give it i mean i have it in the windowsill in a south facing window in the strongest rays I can possibly get in my whole place. So that's what it's going to take. You could pop it outside if you have a, you know, a patio, a porch, by the pool. It's going to love that because it's a real sun lover and I don't think you can give it too much sun. Really, it can take a lot of heat, so it can take a lot of sun. But you would think if it's wanting a whole lot of sun that it's going to want a whole lot of water. Uh-uh. It is going to want to get nice and, you know, soak it real good when you water it and then leave it alone for until it dries completely. You know, you pretty much want to have it completely dry out before you start messing with this thing again. And that's because once again it's a succulent you know i know most of my videos are on tropical so maybe you might sense a rhythm but this one the rhythm is water and stop and go do something else and then you know check it in like a week or so it's i can't gauge for you how often that has to happen but what i will say is that it's going to need to dry out these these twigs right here they are very very prone to rot and so just consider that keep that in mind before you go you know messing around with the watering can in proximity with this plant because it's just gonna it, it it won't want none of that so 
the light, the water, uh, you know, it's not a tropical, so you don't have to worry about humidity, which is a huge plus with this. You can, whatever is in your apartment, your house, it'll like, and really, I mean, it's not something you're going to want to fertilize. I think you can maybe do it like once a year, maybe twice a year. And, but I'd be careful. A lot of fertilizers will probably give this, uh, this, this plant a tough time. Uh, outside of that, I use cactus soil for the soil mix, something that water can just somewhat quickly and easily pass through is going to be your go-to. So quite often it's been a succulent mix or a cactus mix and just keep it nice and loose. And you should have no problems at all. It's such an easy going, low maintenance, carefree plant. As long as it's getting all the sunlight you can give it. And as long as you're not watering it to death, then it's going to love everything else that you have to offer it. So, you know, I would recommend this to a beginner and I love the way it is. It looks in the, in the uh, sun, in the window, and it just, I couldn't ask for a more awesome carefree plant. So go out there and get yourself one. Definitely let me know, uh, how that turns out, drop some pictures, drop some comments. And, you know, if you know something that I don't, I haven't covered about this plant, definitely drop some knowledge in the comment section. And I will be looking forward to hearing back from you and seeing you in the next videos with me. And until then, you enjoy yourselves out there. Take it easy.